as always in this video you are going to learn a new concept if you have to enter password the first field where you enter the password it has to check if the complexity of the password is matching or not and in the second text when you retype the password it should check the first typed password is matching with the second one or not right it's a complex logic how this can be built i am going to show you in this video so let's get started without any delay so look at this app okay so here i have got a password field and i'm entering a password okay rakesh at the rate 1 2 3 4 5 okay now if it doesn't meet the requirement for example i'm simply not meeting the requirement then what happens it should show me um, you know it doesn't meet the requirement for example i will type rakesh123 let's say okay something i'm typing so you can see immediately showing password rules the password length must be greater than or equal to 8 the password must contain one or more uppercase so it is showing a message okay after reading this let me correct it rakesh at the rate one two three four five i've enter now here confirm password okay for example i'm writing like this rakesh at the rate one two three four five so there's a mismatch this is uppercase and this is this is not so what would happen the moment i enter it automatically pops out password mismatch okay so let me try it again let me say a capital i will make the moment i click outside it immediately tells me password mismatch so how this logic is built so let me correct it let me see if it is working or not for example i'd say rakesh okay now it is fine okay there is one thing that uh, while you are typing a password, it has to have a star mark. Okay, I am I not yet uh, I am not able to uh, yet find out um, where is that option in the apps. Okay, if that comes across you, please let me know in the comments. If not, if I find it out, I will create a content. But for the moment, let's see how this logic can be developed. Okay, so let's get started. So the very first thing we will do, we will add a text box. Okay. And here I am going to change the label and I'm going to say create password. Okay. And inside this, I will put some hint text. For example, I will say create a complex password. You can put anything of your choice. So you can see the moment you write it, it appears like this. Also, this field has to be mandatory. To make it mandatory, there is a property called required. All you have to do is simply change it to true. And it has to be written in lowercase. Okay. So, if this much is the basic design that you have done. Now, the same thing I will do it for the next text box to confirm the password. So, let me hit on add control. And I am going to drag and drop one more text box. And the same thing I'll repeat for the label. I will say confirm password. And for the hint text, I'm going to say confirm retype the password, something like that. You can say okay. So I'll go to the hint text and I'll say re retype the password. You can see it has come. And also I have to make this mandatory for that same steps we will repeat and I will say true so this much is done now here com comes the how do you check the moment customer enters does it meet the requirement of the password complexity it has to be eight character there has to be uppercase there has to be a lowercase so how do you ensure it meets that requirement for that it is quite simple, you know, in Google, if you do a small Google and type uh, regex for password. Okay, there are multiple different sites from where you can really look for the regular expression needed for the password. For example, I have captured one. Uh, this is the expression for and this is the rule. Okay, the password length must be um, greater than or equal to 8 the password must contain one or more uppercase character the password must contain one or more lowercase character the password must contain one or more numeric value so this is the rule of the password and this is the regular expression so what i will do once you get this kind of a regular expression i'm going to copy this if you know how to build it it's well and good if not it is quite easily and readily available so i have got 
this particular regular expression i'm going to copy this and i will go here uh, and this is again for learning purpose okay when you are going for a production ensure you check it properly with your it department right so every company has their own rules this is only for learning purpose now here and the property of this create password i want to set that regular expression if you scroll down here you find something called a uh, pattern okay there will be something called pattern let me scroll down here here it is called pattern and when you are writing a regular expression it has to be always inside two forward slashes you have to write it so i have put two forward slashes and inside them i am going to paste the regular expression remember within the forward slashes you have to paste the regular expression so let me go to the end and just verify come to the home and verify so yeah it is there within the two forward slashes remember this important point done after this if somebody really you know doesn't type you wanted to show some message so the message what i wanted to put is this one password rules i'll copy this text and in the custom error message i'm going to copy paste no double quotes nothing required simply copy paste the sentence so this much is done okay so let's run a preview and see if it is really working or not okay that is important so let's see that okay so let it load and we are going to test it so i'll go to the sign up page and here i have created this two text boxes the first one i have applied the regular expression so let me check it um let's say let me type one two three something like that so this doesn't meet the moment i click outside it tells me the error okay let me change it and say rakesh at the rate one two three four five six okay this meets the requirement now if i click it outside the error goes up that means it meets the requirement so the first learning you have got it now let's move on when somebody is entering the password here in the confirm box it should match the create password value with this one and see if they are equal then it should proceed if not it should show some error that the password doesn't match okay so how to do that it's again quite simple what i will do create password here there is something called value binding i'll create a variable here so how do i create a variable simply click on this and this uh, window would open okay so by default for you it will be blank if you see app variable uh, variable will be blank now in this place i'll click on this plus sign and i'm going to type a variable i'll keep it pretty simple a first variable and for the second field i'll create one more variable and i will name it as b so i'm using two different variables a and b so this a variable i'm going to assign it to the first box click on it so you can see create password when somebody types something it will go to the variable a pretty simple now for the confirm password okay con confirm password for the value binding field i will click on this and i'm going to select the variable b so what would happen if somebody enters something it will go here but how you ensure the password entered in the variable a equals to variable b right that kind of a condition how do you make it in the second field not the first one in the second one what i'm going to do i will not put any pattern nothing because it doesn't matter here already the pattern he will change it and then he comes to this field so only thing i will do i'll click on the event and click on create rule here i'll use something called if then else so have you have you used this condition before if not this will be a learning thing for you here in the if then else i am going to uh, compare uh, the variable a so when you write a variable don't directly write a if you write like this it will not work okay how you have to write you have to first put a equal symbol and then write the variable a remember this point very very important equal symbol and write a variable a. okay so here if then you the moment you click here you get compare and group click on compare so you get two different fields so don't write a like this it will not work a equals to b no it has to be written this way in you you have app studio you have to put a equal symbol and then write a equal symbol and write a or from here also you can select like this also you can select okay this is one way so let me directly write it equals to a so a is not equals to b then what what should happen then it should say a is one second equals to b 
see it, it's both both the things are not detecting let me do one thing first type equals to come down and i'm going to select the variable okay this time it fine it works fine i'll go here go down and select the variable click on the variable okay now it's work fine so a not equals to b then show a message show message and i will say i'll remove the title and this should be a warning right so warning and here i'll put a message password mismatch okay password mis mismatch please read type fine and i'll give it for probably two seconds done now if it is correct if a equals to b then you can say i'll put another message and here i'll remove the title password match and this will i will say success and i'll keep this for two seconds so you can change this you know change this variable as you need so this is done and i'm going to close it so let's see how how exactly it's going to really work or not we will test that okay so variable a will contain the first text value variable b is going to contain and the condition will happen the event will start the moment you enter it okay so let's do a preview so it is quite interesting right how you are uh, building this logic all right let me click on sign up first let me enter some password some wrong password so you can see it is showing that let me enter a proper one rakesh at the rate one two three four five six all right here what i will do i'll write a small case rakesh at the rate one two three four five six what is wrong here r is not capital now the moment i click outside what would happen password mismatch please retype it tells password mismatch please retype so let me retype it okay then click outside password match there is a green tick mark okay now you have a question that is in term it is coming on the top how about putting that message at the below is it possible okay let's see that um so i want that message to appear at the bottom right so here there is a position okay where you want to come i want that to appear in the bottom bottom close this this is a cloud application you don't have to save anything done now let me preview okay so hope please do design all this because these are very interesting topics and it will help you a lot so let's type rakesh at the rate 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh and then let me type small one rakesh like this i'm typing it is saying password mismatch and it has come at the bottom okay and now let me retype properly rakesh at the rate 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay password match you can also use the title field on the top there is a small gap right either instead of a message you can use the title and omit the message so all those variations you can do now only thing only thing what doesn't really uh, you know i am you know we are missing is when you are typing a password it should have asterisk mark okay now any one of you who finds that in uipath app studio please do comment okay in case i come across i would i would definitely create a content around that how do you change it to asterisk value rather than showing the value of the password which is not safe right so thank you guys for watching it i hope this would have added a lot to your learning um activities so thank you so much we're going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye